Hey everyone, we're in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. Let's jump into AWS in their digitizing industries and walk through a demo. Come on, come with me. Fouad, core to Snowflake is its broader ecosystem. We're here with AWS. What am I looking at? Ryan, simple question. When was the last time you're going through an airport and really frustrated with the Wi-Fi. I have to say it's pretty timely because 48 hours ago, I was in an airport and I couldn't connect and it frustrated the heck out of me, Fawad. And this is what we are doing here today. So what we have taken is we have built a Gen AI powered digital twin using Snowflake and different native AWS services to help different industries operationalize their network experience and monetize all of this data for end customer experience. I absolutely love it, and I'm a visual learner here, so Fawad and Guy, can you walk me through, and the audience through, exactly what we have here? Yeah, absolutely. So here we have a 3D model of the Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. You can see a high-level view of the airport, and from a network operational perspective, or network capacity planning, we see that there is a specific issue in terminal number two. Right? So I can jump directly into the, uh, terminal number two. This might have been the terminal I was in, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think I see you here. So <laughs> you can see on the, on the top of the terminal, you can see the different radio cells, which are currently green. That means that they are turned on. And we also have a standby capacity cell if we have an increased amount of traffic coming in. And if I scroll down, you Talk can see- Talk about going granular here, guy. This is perfect. Yeah. And you can see here that different uh, KPIs, this is the actual simulation of traffic in the airport. You can see the different radio KPIs, which gives us a simulation of what type of traffic is coming in on the network side. Fawad, from your standpoint, why does this excite you so much? Let's load up the entire uh, environment into a digital model and do what if planning, simulation modeling. What if I were to do this, what would happen this? And this is how we are able to expand on this capability to non-technical users. We connected this through a Gen AI model with using Amazon Bedrock. We are going to ask questions in English and you'll see real-time impact on the digital twin. So Guy, I love Ooh, seeing yeah. this view. Yeah. But let's take a step back out and yeah. walk. Can you walk us through the terminal? How do you have a visual aid of seeing exactly what's happening yeah, exactly. here in real time? Absolutely. So the concept here is how can we map all those radio KPIs, which sometimes might be complex, you know, for uh, network operation teams because right. they're not telco expertise. Uh, they don't have the telco expertise, right? So we mapped the traffic back to those 3D models. So we took a 3D model of a terminal. We put 3D objects that you can see here. Those are radio cells, which are providing the radio coverage. So we have one, two, three, four, right? So those radio cells are mapped to the traffic. So we map for the different nodes. And you can see here those which are, have a model shading of green, those are turned on, right? The model shading here, which is yellow, this is in standby mode. What we're going to do later on with the generative AI, the model, is we're going to ask the model, can you please turn on a capacity cell because I understand that there's going to be a peak increase of traffic in the arrival terminal because of MWC or any other events that we can communicate with the model to understand which type of events are happening in Barcelona, for example, or Amsterdam. How does that impact the traffic in the terminal? And I want to see what is the impact. So you can easily see visibly, we're going to potentially have an issue here with yellow, or we're going to have an issue with red. How do we problem solve for Absolutely. a future event? Absolutely, yes, yes, exactly. exactly. And something that you can add on top is, uh, let's, say, let's talk about a normal business operation in an airport. Right. A flight lands, 300 people get off the plane, they're at the immigration desk. So- They're all standing in line. All standing in line. What they do have you know? places to be. Yeah, places to be. So what do you want? You want the capacity of the network to be available near the immigration counter. Now, everyone has cleared the immigration, now they're waiting at the baggage carousel. What do you do in the, in the digital twin? You ask the, uh, the network, let's increase the capacity near the baggage carousel. We don't need as much capacity on the immigration counter. It's constantly moving as the flow of traffic Absolutely. is moving throughout the terminal. Absolutely, and this is made possible through the real-time telemetry that is captured uh, through the uh, AWS site-wise and brought into Snowflake, and then that is relayed into the digital twin. So it's a true joint partnership solution here. Am I thinking about that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So gentlemen, you mentioned the Gen AI and LLM component. Yep. Can you walk us through it? Absolutely. All right okay, guys, so start. what are we looking at here? So we are looking here on the chatbot. This is the UI. It's a 
UI application called Streamlight, which is hosted on Snowflake, right? And that UI is actually communicating with a large language model, which is hosted on AWS. And the concept here is, for example, we can ask the model questions about which type of events are happening, uh, or what will be the impact in terms of uh, amount of passengers coming to the terminal. So that might be the first question. So we, we prepare the list of questions here. Like, for example, what, what are the events that are happening? So the model comes back, he looks on a data set that lives on the Snowflake side for futuristic events and saying, there is an MWC event. Okay, and I'm saying from a network operation perspective, my you know this is coming, so you can pre-build these prompts or examples. Uh, uh, we, we know this because that data is coming in from the Snowflake marketplace. We have got flight arrivals, schedules, we have events data, whether there's a Taylor Swift concert or what, whatever is happening. We need increased capacity because of there is an uh, uh, increase in demand, and that is coming from that event data that is captured through different partners in the Snowflake marketplace. And also, in order to identify those use cases where there is demand for high capacity, even if you are not already in the airport, you can capture the data using flight uh, uh, sample download data that is available inside the marketplace as well. What is the download rate across the entire continental United States or Europe? And you can use that as a demand signal. And as a future proofing to avoid any any issues down the road. Absolutely. Exactly, absolutely. So right now we're using a list of pre-canned examples, but from a network operation perspective, the network operator can use any type of natural language to communicate with the chatbot, right? That's the whole logic. So once we've identified there is a mobile Congress event, we want to tell the model, for example, seems like there is twice the amount of traffic. Can you please simulate 2x traffic? So the model, what it will do, I will show it to you in a second, Because now this is opening up the world to a whole different subsect, subsect of individuals with the LLM, with the Gen AI, to non-technical users yes, to absolutely. now find the value out of future situations. Absolutely. Uh, and so you expose this, uh, uh, this system to somebody who's an operational manager of the airport. They're not telco experts. They're not SQL experts, they're not Python experts, but they can speak English or whatever national language they have. And they want to avoid yes. future situations where it could cause them problems on the, a day-to-day -day basis. The simple, the simple request is, I need more capacity near the baggage carousel as opposed to the immigration counter. Right. I don't need to write a 16 lines Python code to that. I just want to say increase capacity near the baggage carousel. I see that and say that here, we come to the digital twin and we see that there's more cells, more, more signal available on, on the requested area. So gentlemen, I love the real world example. We can all imagine ourselves in an airport having connectivity issues, but this solution can be used outside of airports. It's not just built around a specific instance. Can't this scale to any other kind of situation? Absolutely. I mean, the reason why we picked airport as an example is the 3D models of airports are freely available. You give us a 3D model of a manufacturing shop floor, it becomes a manufacturing digital twin. You give us a retail shop uh, floor, we'll walk you through the aisles and we'll tell you whether you're looking at eggs or, or, or diapers, right? So whatever it is, we'll, we'll build you this and this is all going to happen in the same seamless way. And again, if you, if you do it for retail, the retail manager, the, the branch manager, the operation manager will say, okay, I need this capacity, I need this thing, I can do eyeball count, I want to see what is the most, most frequently used aisle in the entire Retail show. Where do I need to stock my items? Absolutely. Gearing around a big holiday. Absolutely. You know, changing the, uh, the order of the inventory. What should I uh, pair together? Should eggs be next to the diapers or eggs should be next to the bread? Right? These are the questions. So this is all that is made uh, could be made possible using digital twins, capturing all of this data. Collecting all the data is the magic. What you see is just the eye candy on top. Gentlemen, it's great to see how Snowflake and AWS are partnering together to solve real world problems. As you look out on the coming months, what excites you most about the joint partnership between AWS and Snowflake? Guy, let's start with you. Yeah, absolutely. So I think what we're seeing here is an example of how we can combine generative AI together with the data marketplace and data that is coming from Snowflake together with Digital Twin. This is just an example of how we can combine generative AI together with network data to change and revolutionize the whole concept of better cooperation. But we are seeing it across the board, whether for network operation, customer experience, all around. So I think it's just the beginning of the capabilities that we are showing together with Snowflake and Generative AI on AWS. Fouad, from your perspective. Absolutely, just like Guy said, um, we, have, we have done the hard work here. The hard work is collecting the data. 
And once you have all the data, you have different a suite of different type of application that you can unleash on that data. We have Gen AI services from both Snowflake and AWS that will help people democratize the, the data and analytics across the enterprise. I mean, I, I call this as, you know, there are five generation languages, right? So I started my career writing code in assembly language, machine code. You know, then you have, the Python is all the rage these days, right? So people, that is a fourth generation language. You have fifth generation languages like Prolog and Mercury. I call this Gen AI the sixth generation language, right? Go out to the masses, make it accessible to everyone so that even the operation people who are not expert in those coding side of things, they can interact with technology, make business inform the scenes, and this is what we are going to enable at scale for all the customers across all industries. And giving them the solutions right at their fingertips in real time. Absolutely. Guy, thank you so much for joining us. Fawad, such a pleasure. It's all happening here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. I'm Ryan Green, I'll see you soon.